Welcome to another Simple Engineering Snippet. In this instructional video, we review the steady flow energy equation and work in an example. I hope you find it informative. Let's review the flow energy equation. It is provided here for a simple system with one inlet flow and one outlet flow. The equation has multiple forms. You will often see the internal energy and flow work terms combined into enthalpy. Heat transfer into the system is entered with a positive sign Heat transfer out is entered with a negative sign. Similarly, work out of the system is positive, work into the system is negative. Let's work at an example. A steady flow system has one inflow and one outflow. It is producing 405 kilowatts of work. The mass flow is 3 kilograms per second. Each kilogram passing through the system loses 9 kilojoules of energy. The inlet elevation is 32 meters above the outlet. The remaining required inlet and outlet conditions are as shown. Our goal is to find the difference in internal energy from the outlet to the inlet. We will be working in dimensions of energy per mass. The work is given in kilowatts. To obtain energy per mass, we divide through by the mass flow rate as shown. By definition, heat transfer into the system is a positive value. In this example, we are losing energy due to heat transfer the heat in term is minus 9 kilojoules per kilogram. Now let's solve the steady flow energy equation for the unknown. Let's start with the flow work term. We're using the SI system so the units come out clean, but we have to keep in mind that we are working in kilojoules per kilogram. Now we move on to the kinetic energy term. As energy, work in heat transfer is extracted from the fluid the pressure drops and the volume expands. The velocity at the exit is significantly greater. Next up is the potential energy term. As is typical, this term is significantly smaller than the other terms. Now that we have all the parts, we just need to do the arithmetic. Keep in mind that the heat transfer in term has a negative sign and that we are subtracting the positive work out term. Since we are extracting work and the fluid is losing heat, it is expected that the answer will be negative. We obtain minus 20 kilojoules per kilogram. I hope you found this instructional video useful. If so, then please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.